on tonight? Say again. Can you talk about how you stepped up? Um, I think it was just all about patience. You know, it was just uh, the first time we played him, I just kind of got sped up and, uh, you know, turned the ball over, not taking good shots, you know, ball faking um, was the key in today's game. You know, jump stop and playing on two feet. So, um, you know, I was able to do that better this game than the first game. And I think, um, you know, that's why I was able to play a little bit better, a lot better, I should say. So, um, you know, but uh, overall, you know, it was just uh, it was a good team win tonight, and uh, you know, my teammates they were they were looking for me in the middle of the paint, which made it you know a lot easier for me. Bro, bro, just keep like you had your rhythm. You found your rhythm really in the second half. I'll talk a little bit about that and the week feeling. You sound like you really hopped in three. Uh, just like the first half of the zone, um, they give shooters respect, so they have length on the backside. It's hard to shoot open shots, but if you get out in transition and the direct teammates to find you. Um, they found me tonight, and I was able to knock it down. Um, missed a couple, but um, shoot or shoot. So keep that in mind. Uh, not able to knock him down tonight. <laughs> For both of you, given everything you guys went through this last week, both on the court, off the court, not having big goes tonight, how much did you kind of both put on your shoulders to be tone setters and, and, and lead the way tonight? I mean, it's almost like every night. Um, I mean, we have big goes in the league for a rebounder, but we're the seniors, so um, it comes more than just scoring and basketball. It's leadership. It's a uh, Keeping everybody together, um, just more than that. So we got to bring it every night. So it's nothing new. Um, we just got to keep it going. And the dedicate. key in the second half is, I mean, those first, the game in Seattle and then first half tonight, you guys were 22% from the field. Was it just finding more open looks on threes and then open up things in the middle? Or? Um, I mean, I think both. You know what I mean? It was just being aggressive, playing smart. Um, I think. Uh, I think Max did a phenomenal job coming off the bench and giving us a spark. Um, you know what I mean? Elijah Weaver played phenomenal day. Um, you know, John obviously was doing his thing, Isaiah. So, I mean, just guys were able to just step up. You know, it's a, it's a team effort. And, you know, we just, uh, you know, everybody was able to step up today and just, uh, you know, either play good defense or make a right pass or, you know, just score the ball when, when the ball gets to him. So, um, you know, it was just it was just a team effort, honestly. You know, first and second half, and uh, it was a it was a defensive effort, which you know is you know what we pride ourselves on. Andy dedicated this one to Kyle after everything he's gone through the last week. What has it been like for you guys as teammates, just trying to be there for him and everything? Uh, well, we're family, so um, it's nothing new. But when something like that happens, you got to actually be there. Uh, he's a freshman too, so being away from home, having that happen, all the way out here, it's tough. So um, as older guys, as a team, come together and made us stronger. So we yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah, that's our, that's our brother, you know. So that's, you know, obviously we're, we're always going to be here for him. And, uh, you know, so what happened with his family is just it's terrible. And, you know, our, our, our thoughts and our prayers go out to him and his family. And, uh, you know, it's just we're, we're here for him, you know. And, uh, you know, this win was for – for him and his family, you know, and uh, they wasn't able to make it and play tonight, um, you know, but we got his back, just like we got Big O's back, and, you know, like uh, like Jonas said, we're a family. Can you guys talk about the importance of the win tonight, and have you started to realize how many games you have left in your career as a senior? Uh, yeah, it's important tonight. Uh, I mean, every game now is important trying to get to March, uh, especially at home court. Uh, we couldn't, we can't drop anything. Only about like six games or seven games left in conference. Only like three or four at home or three left at home. Um, so um, it's getting real, but you just have to stay focused and uh, it's gonna all come together. Gotta keep on winning. Johnny, you scored eight in a row at one point down the stretch there at, at a key time. Could you just tell the the switch kind of flipped there? I, it seemed like you were struggling a little bit from the field to start, and then you seemed to get hot right at the right point. Yeah, if I see like one drop down, especially the way it did, it's all net. That. that means there's uh, everything's there. Um, got a floater, got to the paint, and then got another wide open look. So um, practice those every day in the morning, the night. Um, so just shooting with confidence and and winning tonight. Uh, got to keep on doing that. Coach, said, I'm talking to the defense. I'm focused on my last turnover. I had six tonight. That's something that like you talk about the chemistry I had today and the focus I had. To uh, have, um, a certain of yeah, well, Arizona State, we have 24, so that's probably the biggest I've ever had in my life or on any team. So um, we, we can let the pressure get to us. Oh, we got to take care of the ball, make the right reads. Uh, it's more of us than the defense, so we shut up tonight. Um, be strong with the ball, make the right play. We want to turn the ball over as we had six tonight. So just being smart with the ball is the main change. You know, it seemed like we were uh, personal a lot of the game, but we came down double 
14th Stewart when he got the ball inside. Um, we held him to something like nine shots. Was that part of the game plan or what did his physicality achieve? Uh, yeah, uh, he's a big chunk of the team. Average most of the points, most of the rebounds. He's a the top player in every scout um, on the draft board. So if you neutralize him and keep him to a limited, uh, low scoring night, uh, make everybody else score, they struggle. Uh, they did tonight. So we, our main focus was uh, to keep him uh, low numbers and Nick, Big Nick and uh, they did their job with him, battled him the whole night and nothing else we can ask for. Um, so that was the game plan. DeMar DeRozan night tonight, like, what was it? like for you guys just seeing I know you weren't the, out there for the ceremony but having being around that tonight I mean yeah he's a, he's a cool dude you know I don't, I don't really know him that well but uh you know anytime he comes back you know it's a it's a special moment you know just for being in, in the USC family category so um you know I think he's a real cool dude and uh you know he was, he was in a locker room joking with us and things like that and it's just it's amazing to see when uh, you know guys go to the NBA and then you know they still come back to their college and you know hang out with the guys and stuff like that. So um, you know he's a uh, it's awesome. So you had a pull up three on a fast break. Talk about that. What you thought when the ball was in the air, and, and then you run, ran to your spot. Talk you elaborate on that. Uh, well, the first half I got a steal and they blocked my shot, so I was like, okay, I don't know about the this one is like a long pass. Um, they happened to run. I knew they were all run to the paint. Then we we're gonna stop and guard me the three. So I just like wide open, take it. Uh, that's what coach was telling me. So I just stopped, pop, hit it. So I just wanted to get my shot blocked again. I wanted to actually get the points. <laughs> Is it fun seeing your old teammates tonight? Oh, it's always amazing seeing all of them back. Um, uh, always been a family. So my freshman year, um, those guys I've been around those guys, and Kevin left last year, but we were close to the team last year too. So it's always good seeing all the teammates and reminiscing and just having them around. It's good. Anything else? Good.